went to Applebee's this week, guys. Was it good? <laughs> yes, yes, What'd you have? It was good. Uh, I was chicken penne something. Well, it was funny. It, it was actually uh, we went to Mad Max and Irma's, and for whatever reason, we, like we got sat and didn't see anybody for twenty minutes. Oh, I, I saw you. I think oh, you tweeted about that. Or did twenty you... minutes. That's that's, yeah. that's that's completely unacceptable at that point. Is that the Mad Max or Ma, uh, Max yeah, and Irma's? Max yeah, and Irma's yeah, yeah, yeah. Down by uh, Dukes. Uh, yeah, kind over like Green Tree Road. Yeah, yeah, area? yeah, over there. Wow, over there. I've never been in there before. But... I usually don't have a problem. It's usually it's just this day. I'm just like, hi, I'm too hungry. I'm not dealing with this. I just, I just got up and said to Denny's and like left. <laughs> and uh, but apparently somebody else too. But we went for there. We decided to, uh, well, I don't know, Denny's. Uh, let's go to Applebee's. We haven't been there too too often, right? And uh, we get there, and I find this piece of technology sitting right on our table um I, I i know i think we've had stories about this right that that this was coming in so there's this uh, little it's a bulky thing just sitting on the edge of the table and you can move it and everything and so it's pretty heavy right but it's basically an android tablet um you can order like you could go I actually went in and just immediately ordered an appetizer right off the bat um they have some games on there and you can actually pay through it there's a there's actually a credit card reader on the top and it'll it'll be like blue or green you know so they know you know what's going on there um so i went from like not being served for 20 minutes to like ordering an appetizer before they even took my drinks you know i it was just this kind of other side of of the equation and it was pretty cool to see that uh kind of happening so um you can't order your entire thing they just let you do appetizers and desserts but still it's kind of a step in the right direction and i more think i want this at a bar that you don't need to. I see. I see. Doug's thinking about that over <laughs> see, there. See, I want it at the bar, but I want it where it like fills fills your beer glass from from underneath. Like you <laughs> put your beer glass on the well, thing. Yeah, they have the those. Button. They actually they have those at at some bars where it's I forget the type. It's basically they use it at like beer fest and everything where they set the glass down. It fills it up within like ten or fifteen seconds, and then they just keep going. That's how mm-hmm. they rotate the stock, but. I'm thinking with bars that that'd be a great way as soon as you sit down to order your drink. See, that's how, and, and to get moving I, with it. I hate going to bars. I hate having to try to get the guy to get the drink and and they're always the bartender. Like, yeah, the yeah the bartender. <laughs> I, I, you know what the bartender is, you know. I, but 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 still, you know, getting that attention, especially when it's busy down there, and maybe you have a few of these terminals along the way, and they blink. Hey, it came from this one over here. They at least they just go fill the orders say okay that came from terminal two you ask the five people around there hey which one of you is this thing and and there you go i was i was at a bar in philly and their whole beer list so none of their taps have labels on them there are there are silver taps along the wall that's all they are and you you get it when you go in you get an ipad and it has it has safe (laughs) It, it has all of their beers that are on tap and how much of the beer is left. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so like, it, like, you know, like you got to get their attention because there's like three glasses of that beer. That left. would that's be tremendous. Really nice. That'd be a trend for Bucktown because they just rotate their taps. Do yeah. you know how much is left in the tap or if you're getting a fresh keg or, or whatever. And, and I have a feeling there must be a sticker or something on, on the tap because like when I when when he when I ordered the drink, he was looking where I was looking, and they were numbered in the mm. system. And I'm guessing on top of the tap where you can't see as a as a person sitting at the bar, there must be numbers along the taps because That's they are switching them out. Mm-hmm. That they you, they're just looking at whatever you're looking at to figure out which number it is. They go up there, put the put the glass under it, and I, I can't. I think it might be motion, like almost. Like like a a toilet at the arena where you get up and it automatically flushes, <laughs> but this is you put a glass under it and it automatically poured. Well, that's the same um, if you're ordering, bud. <laughs> I digress. But so so it was it was a very up it, it was a very upscale bar that was doing this, but their iPads were all in Otter boxes and the the power and 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 home button were covered, so you couldn't reboot them or, or break them out of the app. It, but it was a it was a very cool experience, much like what you're what you had Mm -hmm. um and i think i've seen that in the north hills at tgi fridays really i think they had the same so i haven't seen that at the at least the fridays around i guess i haven't i don't frequent fridays as much as i used to go to fridays a lot i had a lot of points built up down there but um 
But no, maybe it, it wasn't Applebee's. I can't remember. It was on McNight Road, it, but it had it had much the same terminal, which mm -hmm. is very impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just um, like, you know, I remember we've heard, heard about these before, and it was just like, oh great, now I don't need to deal with my server. But you still do. You still interact with them a bit, and there's a call your server button on there too. Now, how does it signal the server? I don't. They probably have some kind of pager. I yeah, assume. they probably have something or something in That's the back. Because like even like I went in and swiped the thing, and she came back in like. 30 seconds and like it, like it was scary fast she's like oh here you go i'm like i just i just did the okay so that's the applebee's that that's over in scott plaza or scott yeah township yeah in scott township that's the one we usually go to i haven't been there in a while yeah i'm gonna uh, have to go check that out now yeah. when i look that's, at it that's neat. talking about kids you know kids are restless and they want food or they want something and i want to place that appetizer <laughs> right away or yeah. i want to place the mac and cheese like right now <laughs> right in fact, right. as soon as we sit down at most restaurants, we say, we need mac and cheese, we need chicken fingers or whatever. It's for the kids. We know what they want already. And the server's usually like, okay, no problem. I'll yeah, hurry yeah. up for it. <laughs> like you have a process, right? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. And there's, you do have to play 99 cents. It looks like you have to pay 99 cents to have access to the games, period. Uh -huh. Which, 